Hey guys, it's Tom here from Pro Direct Running, and today I'm very lucky to have the Nike Vaporfly Next% 3 in my hands. Undoubtedly one of the most hotly anticipated releases of the year, and today I'm going to take you through some of the key updates that you can find on the latest version of the OG Super Shoe. LeBron James! Oh, what a catch! <laughs> Now I should say as a little bit of a disclaimer, at the time of recording, we don't have all of the exact stats and numbers from Nike, but what I definitely can do is take you from the upper all the way down to the outsole and cover off some of the key updates that you can find on the Vaporfly 3. First of all then, with the upper, one of the most notable changes is the fact that we've now got a significantly more breathable construction. We have got a, a slightly traditional fly knit here, but by having all of these breathing holes, it should make the shoe even more breathable, obviously, but also help to keep the weight down. The tongue itself remains virtually unchanged from previous versions of the shoe, and we've still got the slightly offset lacing just to avoid any unnecessary pressure on the top of the foot when achieving lockdown. As far as the heel counter is concerned, similar to the tongue, it looks relatively unchanged from previous versions with a nice bit of padding on the inside. Moving on to the most exciting part and where all the magic happens, the midsole is still full length Zoom X, but there are rumors that we've got a different formulation of Zoom X foam here that they're calling Zoom X Plus, which to my knowledge is just a slightly softer and uh, less dense version of that compound, which should make it even more responsive and even lighter when compared to the regular Zoom X found on the Vaporfly Next% Percent, Next% Percent 2 and the Alpha Fly. Like I said, I currently don't have official numbers from Nike when it comes to the stack height, but when getting them on foot and having a little walk around, it definitely feels like we've got a little bit more substance in the forefoot and you can really feel that that Zoom X is a bit softer underfoot. We've also got a slight change to the geometry of the midsole, particularly at the rear foot area, where it's almost squared off, which I'm imagining is just gonna help with stability. The last thing to mention on the midsole, we have got a lateral cutout here, which does reveal a little bit of the carbon plate, but ultimately taking out pieces of the midsole is always gonna help shave some grams, but it should also make this midsole nice and compressive in the forefoot area. Finally, flipping the Vaporfly 3 over and taking a look at the outsole, we've got a total redesign of the rubber coverage here. It's almost reminiscent of that of what we saw on models like the Pegasus Turbo and the Pegasus Turbo 2 from back in the day. We've also got a slight cutout in the outsole, which again reveals that carbon fiber fly plate, which is the first time in a Vaporfly that you've visibly been able to see the carbon plate coming through, which is a nice touch. And as has been characteristic with the Vaporfly from its inception, we got two nice strips of rubber at the heel. Again, we don't have all of the stats and figures right now, but I do know as far as weight is concerned, we're looking at about 198 grams for a men's sample size. So the Vaporfly still remains one of the very lightest super shoes on the market. So there we go, that's gonna do it for our whistle stop tour of the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent 3 Proto Edition. If you missed out on the initial drop, don't worry, there's plenty more colorways coming soon. And if you're looking to get your feet in a pair, you can do so at Pro Direct Running. LeBron James! Oh, what a catch! What a catch!